हेलो गाइस, आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड आई एम विशाली की कान एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग द ऑप्टिकल कम्युनिकेशन टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू हैव इन इन डेप्थ एनालिसिस ऑफ द स्प्लाइसिंग सो आई ऑलरेडी गिव यू द इंट्रोडक्शन इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वेर आई टॉक्ड अबाउट द जॉइंट्स ऑफ द ऑप्टिकल फाइबर सो स्प्लाइसिंग इज द परमानेंट और सेमी परमानेंट जॉइंट बिटवीन द टू ऑप्टिकल फाइबर सो इफ आई हैव टू ऑप्टिकल फाइबर इफ आई मेक दम परमानेंटली और सेमी परमानेंटली जॉइंटेड सो हेयर वी आर गोइंग टू यूज द टेक्निक ऑफ स्प्लाइसिंग सो नाउ वाई दीज स्प्लाइसिंग टेक्निक इज यूज वेन आई डोंट नीड टू चेंज द पोजिशन ऑफ दिस जॉइंट वेरी मच सो वेन दिस जॉइंट इज लोकेटेड एट द पर्टिकुलर लोकेशन फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम सो एट दैट टाइम आई विल बी गोइंग फॉर द स्प्लाइसिंग टेक्निक अदरवाइज इफ आई हैव टू कंटिन्यूसली चेंज द लोकेशन ऑफ द जॉइंट आई विल बी गोइंग फॉर द डीमाउंटेबल कनेक्टर्स राइट सो बिकॉज हेयर वी हैव द परमानेंट कनेक्शन वी आर मेकिंग द कनेक्शन इन अ वेरी प्रिसाइज मैनर वी विल बी हैविंग लो लॉसेज दैन द डीमाउंटेबल कनेक्शन सो स्प्लाइसिंग इज गोइंग टू गिव मी वेरी लेस लॉसेज इफ आई जॉइन टू ऑप्टिकल फाइबर्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ स्प्लाइसिंग आई विल बी गेटिंग वेरी लो लॉसेज राइट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द टाइप्स ऑफ स्प्लाइसिंग राइट सो द टाइप ऑफ स्प्लाइसिंग बेस्ड अपॉन वेयर आई हैव टू यूज इट द स्प्लाइसिंग टेक्निक कैन बी यूज इन द फील्ड एज वेल एज इट कैन बी यूज इन द फैक्ट्री सो वी हैव नाउ यूज वेरियस न्यू टेक्निक्स विच कैन बी यूज टू जॉइन द टू फाइबर्स इन द फील्ड एज वेल सो इफ आई हैव द टेक्निक विच कैन बी यूज to join the two fibers in the field so this technique will be really interesting for me because what i want i want to do the main work inside the field because in the transportation there will be some degradation towards the optical fiber due to the transportation also the fiber can degrade so i want to manufacture the optical fiber i will join them in the field only so now there are two basically types of splicing first is the fusion or the welding splicing and second is the mechanical splicing so in the fusion or welding splicing we are using the heat right whereas in the mechanical splicing we will be using the epoxy resin right epoxy resin is a material which is an adhesive material which is going to connect the two fibers right so the epoxy resins will be chosen in such a manner that the refractive index of the epoxy resin will be similar to the fibers so now here we have chosen two types of splicing the first is fusion splicing i told you the fusion splicing is based upon the heating here we are going to heat the two fibers to join them so now here we will be providing the localized heating between the two butted and pre aligned fibers so here the need is that we require a pre aligned fibers and the butted fibers but it means they have to be well aligned with the help of a microscopic alignment or with the help of any other v groove alignment or microscopic alignment so here we can be having a structure over which these fibers are placed and here a v type of groove v type of groove is etched inside this structure so that fiber will be placed inside this v groove and here we will be supplying the heating to the fibers right so let's see this how this v groove is going to help us so now here the two fibers are pre aligned fibers and with the help of v groove structure we are going to pre align them and we will be making them butted at the edges are always aligned and we are going to have them soften and then we are going to fuse them how we are going to soften out them with the help of heat right how we are going to give them heat with the help of three methods microplasma torch which is going to use the argon or the hydrogen uh, ions right so here microplasma torch is the first mechanism after that we have oxyhydric microburners which are using oxygen obviously oxyhydric uh micro burners are there so it will be using oxygen it will be using hydrogen other than that it is using the alcohol vapors after that we have the electric arc electric arc methods are generally employed in the field so these method are very preferable right for us so now here first of all we have to do the end preparation of our fibers 
we have various ends of the optical fibers which are not smooth so first of all we have to make the end smooth and polished so in all of the types of splicing we will be having a smooth and clean surface of the optical fiber so first of all we have to do the end preparation to make the smooth square fo uh, faces for the optical fiber and how we are going to do that with the help of cleaving tools so sometimes there might be a possibility that this optical fiber will be having some contaminants or also so if i know the optical fiber is having the contaminants i am going to cleave it before the contaminant is there so at this location in the full location of the optical fiber the contaminants were not there if i cleave the portion where the contaminants were there i will be getting a very good contaminant free optical fibers so first of all i understand about the cleaving tools what are the different cleaving tools by which i can cleave the optical fiber to get a smooth square face right so the tool can be made with the help of blades these blades can be sapphire blades diamond blade or tungsten carbide blades because we have to cut the glass the optical fibers are made of glass and the glass is a very hard material right so we have to use a material which is harder than the glass so sapphire is harder diamond is again the hardest material than tungsten carbide all of them can be used as a blade to cut or to cleave the optical fibers right so we will be supplying the sufficient axial pressure so that the two fibers are aligned right so sometimes we will be having the adequate alignment with the help of inspection microscope as well and sometimes we can use the v grove structure right either we can use the inspection microscope to align these two fibers because these two fibers must be aligned then only i will be heating them otherwise we will be having the misalignment losses we have talked about the losses in the previous video otherwise i will be using a v grove structure right so now after that if i have the alignment if i have cut the edges if i have made the edges smooth and square so after that after the preparation we are going to the profusion profusion is going to remove the requirement of the fiber and preparation so initial setting so now here before that we will be talking about profusion when we are using the profusion we don't need for the end preparation right we don't need to have the smooth surface so this removes the requirement of fiber and preparation so when i have profusion it can be done in the field itself because the end preparation is not required directly in the field i am going to heat it and i am going to get the joint so how the what are the what is the full process by which i am going to get the joint with the help of the first method that is a fusion splicing method right first of all i will be having the initial setting with the help of of the inspection microscope or with the help of the v grove material we have made the initial setting this is how i will be having the electrodes for the electric arc and this is my fiber after that i will be making the surface smooth with the help of prefusion prefusion is the initial heating so when i give the initial heating to the fiber fiber will be of glass material it is going to melt down and the initially surface is going to become smoother so when the electric electrode is going to give some heat so this fiber surfaces are going to become smoother so you can see here the surface were not smooth but because of the initial heat they, they have already now become smoother after that we will be pressing them together and again i will be applying more heat so i have pressed them together and now i have applied more heat so at last i have made the fiber joint with the help of fusion splicing so now coming to the limitation here because we are using heat to join the two fibers heat is going to weaken the fiber heat is going to decrease the tensile strength of the fiber so tensile strength of the fiber is reduced because here we have used the fiber on a very uh, v grove material metal so here we are applying the pressure on the surface and due to which we will be having decrease in the tensile strength so when we apply lot of pressure on the surface of the optical fiber it is going to have the decrease in the tensile stress so now coming to the mechanical splicing in the mechanical splicing as i told you we are not using any kind of heat 
we will be using the epoxy resin. So in the mechanical splicing, first the fiber is aligned and then they are locked in position using the positioning device and epoxy resin, right? So first of all, we will be using the po uh, positioning device and then we will be providing some epoxy to place them and to make them adhesive. So now here first type of mechanical splicing is the precision tube splicing. In the precision tube splicing what we have we have a precision tube which is going to splice the two optical fiber. This black part is my optical fiber so initially what I have done I have cleaned the hand, I have polished the hand right I have done the hand preparation. Right, so after the ants are prepared, after that we are going for spliced compound. Right, so we are having a spliced compound. A spliced compound is taken as the same refractive index as the fiber which is also called the epoxy which is having the same re refractive index as the fiber. So now two fibers are inserted in the splice, inserted in the same type of refractive index epoxy and then we are providing an outer jacket. So first if I have two fibers, these are two fibers, we will be placing them in a adhesive material which is having the same refractive index as these fibers. I will be placing it in them and after that we will be providing a protective covering. So this is the precision tube which is called the protective covering. So this is how we have made the joints right with the help of mechanical splicing. We have now not used any kind of heat, right? So now coming to the loose tube splice. So in the loose tube splice, here we have a outer jacket which was covered very tightly on the two fibers. Now here we have a loose tube. So this tube, this is my loose tube, right? So loose, loose tube will be having two fibers inserted inside it and we are providing inside uh, epoxy of the same refractive index. So we will be having the rectangular tube which is used for the splicing. This is the loose tube rectangular tube which is used for the splicing. We are using adhesive material which is the epoxy having the same uh, refractive index to join the two fibers. Now again the ants should be cleaned and they should be polished and then only they are inserted in, inside this loose tube and we are taking the refractive index of the adhesive same like the refractive index of the fiber and we are putting the adhesive inside this loose tube. So after the adhesive is going to stay on this fibers, it is going to stick on this fiber. So after that we have made the mechanical splicing. So now coming to the V groove splicing. In the V groove splicing we have a material. So we have a plate, metal plate over which we are providing a V groove. So this could be my metal plate. We can etch a V type of groove inside this structure, right? So this is a V groove. So we are etching, if this is a board, in this board if I etch the V type of structure so I can place any optical fiber over here so that the fibers will not move here and there. So the requirement of V type of groove is that the fiber will be holded at a particular location only. So now the V groove splice is also called the surface groove splice. In the surface groove splice we are making a V groove on the surface. So let's suppose this is the metal over which I will be making a V groove and I will be placing the optical fibers. One optical fiber here, one optical fiber here. And after that I am going to put the adhesive material on it and then I will have one more metal plate and then I will be having the V groove same like the V groove we had in the first metal plate. We will be having the V groove in the second metal plate and then we can fasten the two metal plates so that this structure is now stable. So now in the V groove splice which is also called the surface groove splice because we are making the groove on the surface. The dimension of the V groove are chosen such that fiber can easily be placed inside it right. Then we are using the adhesive epoxy material to join the two fibers and the fibers placed in the groove are then end butted together with the help of the epoxy. And then we are going to cover the second metal plate over the first metal plate. Here I am going to have one more metal plate. So I am going to cover it with one more metal plate, right? So this is how I will be having one more metal plate so that these fiber joints are now very safe from the environmental degradation and now these two metal plates are fastened. With the help of any fastening device like the screw we can fasten out these metal plates. So I hope now you understood what is the V-groove splice. Now coming to the elastometric splice. In the elastometric splice 
we are using the same mechanism as we have discussed in the V groove splice. Here we are using the V groove which is of lesser radius than the optical fiber and it can be of elastic material so that the optical fibers are placed and they are positioned very tightly inside this elastic material. So it is similar to the V groove splice. We are using the outer sleeve for the two elastometric parts and we are going to compress the fiber in the V groove. So here you can see after I make the V groove and I after I use the two fibers to be placed inside this V group I will be putting the adhesive and after the adhesive has joined the two fibers I am going to close this V group so this is the elastic material right so the V group is of lesser radius than the radius of the fiber so that fibers are very tightly placed inside this groove and then I can because it's an elastic material I can fold it so if somehow this board can be folded after making the V groove and making the connection of the optical fiber so I can fold it. So this is the change in the elastometric splice. Now coming to the precision pin splice. As the name suggests we are having the pins in it. So here we are using a heat shrink tube. So this is my rectangular heat shrink tube. In the heat shrink tube we have the three pins. These are the three pins which are placed right if I place three pins, if I place three pins over here, so if I place one more pin in between these pins, I will be having some space. In this space, I am going to place my optical fiber. So fibers are inserted in the opening area between the three pins. And again, I will be using the index matching epoxy for the splicing, right? So inside these three pins, I am going to place the epoxy and it is going to join the two fibers or splice the two fibers. After that, we have the spring groove splice. In the spring groove splice, I am using two pins and a spring. So these are the cylindrical pins. These are the two cylindrical pins. You can see here, these are two cylindrical pins and the optical fibers are placed in between these two pins with the help of the spring. Spring is going to place the optical fiber tightly in between these two cylindrical pins. So spring is going to give the upward force so that it is going to be placed at a particular location only and this is how we can align the two fibers very easily in the spring groove splice. So two cylindrical pins are going to alignment the optical fiber and springs and springs are going to press fibers inside the groove and then we are going to use the epoxy resin for the splicing. So now coming to the loss, how much loss is incurred during the splicing? So the uh, loss due to the splicing is given by this formula which will be equal to minus 10 log 10 of exponential minus d upon w square. So now here d is the lateral width so the change in the direction of the optical width so you you can see this is the lateral misalignment so here it due to the lateral misalignment this is my first optical fiber this would be my second optical fiber right so here this part is giving me the d right so the lateral offset for the misalignment so now w is the spot size now here you can see we have the different d and different w if i have the same d so the misalignment would be 0 and the loss would be 0. So when I change the D to the minimum value, I will be having the 0 losses due to the splicing. So splicing is a technique which is going to give me very less losses, right? So here this can be used when I don't need to change the location of the connectors of the optical fiber. So in the next video, we are going to talk about the fiber connectors which are not the permanent connections right these are the demountable connections which are used whenever i don't need a permanent connection right so in the next video we will be talking about it i hope you will be meeting me soon in the next video and i hope you like this video if you like it you can push the like button subscribe to the channel share it with your friends and if you have any doubt you can put the doubt in the query or you can give me your feedback as well thank you so much